Hey y'all, has anybody out there tried canning chicken? Well, that's what we're doing right now. All right, we got some curry chicken, regular chicken, um, salt and pepper chicken, and curry. Did I say that? Or Cajun? One of those. All right. So you definitely want to, we're going to add a little drop of vinegar, y'all. We're going to rinse our chicken. I don't care what they say. Make sure you rinse the chicken off. All right. We don't know where it's been, how it's been handled. We're going to rinse everything. Let it soak for a couple minutes. And then we're going to rinse it off. Drain off that water. And rinse again. So the first thing I'm going to do, since I didn't rinse my chicken, is I'm going to get the skin off of the chicken legs. I'm just going to pull this off. Y'all make sure the chicken is dry. Just pat it down with a paper towel. This was too wet and slippery, so this is why I was having a hard time. But please pat your chicken dry if you're struggling, or you can just cut it off. I'm just going to stuff this down into the jar and then I'm going to repeat that. I'm going to start by putting the smaller ones in there first. Try to find the small chicken legs, but not too small. She really fit four into this jar. You can leave the skin on if you want, but I am not. You can cut this off or you can just pull it off like this. Then I'm going to just put the other two up, just like this. So I was able to get four chicken legs, which is um, 18. I'm trying to read it, I can't. I only got one of these, but it's over two cups, two and a half cups. All right, so pack them in. This one's flavor. I'm just going to have, hold on, I'm going to wash my hands because I don't want to be touching all the other stuff. All right, I'm back. And because I'm using more than a, a quart, I'm going to use a teaspoon of salt. And I'm using cannon salt. I'm just going to sprinkle that. And then I'm actually going to put a little bit of chicken stock, stock seasoning in here. Maybe about half a teaspoon. And then I'm going to push, actually I'm going to push this down a tad. There. All right, so now it's below. So I want about an inch and a quarter, which is where it's at, of head space. And then I'm going to pour my water in here. And you're going to use your debubbler. I'm actually just going to use one of these little things I have to get all your air bubbles out. That is very important. And then you actually realize you need more water. All right. 
Got some bubbles coming out. And take your time with this process because you want your chicken to cook properly. All right, so about an inch and a half or a quarter on that. Right here is about an inch, the little bottom rim, and then about a fourth. And then we're going to put the rim on it, finger tighten or hand tighten. And we're going to sit this to the side. You want to wipe your rims. Make sure you have a proper seal. All right, that one is done. You want to sit that to the side and you want to do the rest. For the others, we have the, you can use chicken breasts or chicken tenders. Uh, if you use the breasts, you're already going to cut them up into the tenders or chunks. So I got some chicken tenders that I'm actually going to cut up in little chunks. Thank you.